I've just got back from the post office, picked up a package. I think this is my new lights for the boat. These have been generously donated to me or purchased for me by one of my subscribers who wishes to remain anonymous. Let's open it up. One, two, three, four packages. Let's open one of these packages up as well. They're all sticky packages, aren't they? And in each package, there are two. Now I guess we ought to open one of these up as well. What's in the box? Some fixings. Lamp. Now these you can actually fix two ways. We have double sided tape which you can stick on the bottom and stick up or we have these little clips which you can throw away they go across, go across on this bit by the looks. Well, you'd, uh, well, they're tight, aren't they? Anyway, I'm going to probably use the tape anyway, but yeah, there they go. So you screw these up first, then you can clip the lamp to it. I think I'm going to probably use the tape, so. And we have Two wires, obviously, the other end. Negative and the positive. They are trimmed back a little bit. Probably need to trim them back a little bit more, make a little bit more wire coming out there to make a better connection. But uh, we'll see how we go. Next, to fit some. So let's get to it. I'm not quite sure how good this is going to come out. This is daylight. This is one of my old lights, as you can see, quite yellow and energy inefficient completely. They're the old little strip light ones. As you can see, the difference in brightness. It's daytime still. This is 10 seconds later. It's one of my new LED lights. I think it's actually going to make a huge difference to lighten the boat. Well, that was the uh, daytime look at the lights on. So let's now look to see how different they are at night time. I have one old one left up in my bedroom and one new one. Let's take a look. Well, it's night time now. So look at the difference. This is chalk and cheese. There's the old light which I haven't changed yet on the starport side of the boat. Very yellow as you can see. And here's the new light on the port side of the boat. Very bright, very white. So let's take one of the old ones down and take a look at the insides of one. Well, here we go. Here is one of those old lights. 
as you can see the lens is very discolored let's take a look at the insides yes one of those old-fashioned uh, little strip lights far volt strip lights very inefficient for a boat and very poor lighting i'm really glad to get these changed right now it's time to start taking some of the old lighting down and getting some of the new lighting up so let's start off by taking an old light down it's been a while to work out how to actually get these apart you actually got to do unscrew the light where you turn it on and off button that then releases that to come off and then remove the cover then you can get to the screws, one up there, and one up in there. So I'll undo these screws. I wish they put them in with slotted screws. No one near as easy to try and find the slots. It's not very light in here. We've got it. A PZ2 would be much easier. Right. Anyway, these screws are a nightmare. screws out. Lost that one. The wires tucked up inside and they've all been connected up differently each one. This one's got a single like, terminal block on there and the other one is connected oh, to a terminal block as well which is tucked underneath the light here. I'm going to actually cut the wires and put new terminals on. Look. Slip them back. Try and get similar lengths. Also, I don't want to touch because I haven't turned the electric off. There's only 12 volts, I can uh, play around with 12 volt without disconnecting it. So, strip those wires back. One. So, I'm using a, a double block and put them together. This one. Bad connector here. Ah, that's right. Nice and tight. I did record this next bit following on from the last part where I took out the old lights and cut the wires. With the film, the sun came out and I didn't realise how bright it was and made it very, very difficult to watch. So I'm reconstructing it 
on the table. What I did was I affixed a terminal block like so to the wires coming out of the roof. I then took my lamp and took the wires I took the wires and I stripped them back a little bit like so And because these are very thin wires, what I did was I fold them back over the cable, like so. So it gives it a little bit more strength on the connector block. And then put the connectors in to the block. And tighten them up. If I can get it to go in the screw hole, there we go. Tighten them up like so. So what we'll do here is we'll pretend that my table is the roof of the boat and I poke these wires back up into the hole. I screw this connector block onto the roof of the boat and then I pull this so the cables were just coming up around tight around about there and using the sticky strip on the back of the light I then will say that was on the back of the light I pushed that up so the connector block was just tidy in behind the light like so so we ended up with it like that against the ceiling and obviously the buttons here for the on off which works absolutely brilliantly as I say I, I, the original recording was rather awful so I thought I'd show it like this instead. The reason I didn't actually show it on another light, I actually fitted them all before I realized that the recording wasn't very good. This happens to be an extra one I have. They come in units of four, and I required 15 to fit to the boat. There's 15 I replaced, so this was an extra one. I'm sure I'll find a use for it one day. Well, that was me replacing all those small fluorescent lights with LEDs. These lights come with 72 LEDs in them. And as you can see from the video before, they're rather bright and give out a great light, which is exactly what I wanted. So that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's another little DIY job project done now on the boat. That I should have probably done months ago, but I was busy cruising in the summer. And now we're in lockdown, it's a lot easier to get on with these jobs because I can't move. I want to thank all my Patreons and subscribers, of course. Without subscribers, it'd be a waste of time me making these videos. And if you'd like to help the channel out and help me with some of these projects I'm carrying out, consider becoming a Patreon or a channel member. You all get perks, like early access to all my videos. Anyway, that's enough me rabbiting on. That just leaves me to say, thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.